How's it going, guys? I wanted to ask a question to the channel itself. Um, as you can see on my screen, I've got uh, a small topology set up here. I've got Notepad pulled up here, and I've got a lot of information pulled up for, you know, OSPF and be covering some RIP and some routing po uh, route policy language. And of course, I have Super Putty down here pulled up with all of the virtual machines that I want to use to, you know, test prep with. So. I would like to know from all of you whether or not you would care to see a bunch of uh, server provider videos. Now obviously, uh, since I am in the process of putting together a CCNA server provider series for INE, I will be taking a couple of excerpts from there and putting them up here. Um, but what I want to do is I want to, I really don't like commingling the uh, INE videos or the INE format on here. I would rather just let them put any videos that I uh, uh, create for them uh, on their YouTube channel and put my own variation of that, which is me. This is more me in the raw, where INE is more, you know, uh, PowerPoint and uh, more uh, basically refined and more polished and more professional delivery. I feel like my deliveries are good, but I'm not really looking for that, you know, uh, you walk in, it's all brand new shiny looking. You know, this is exactly how I study. So, what you see here is exactly what I do every day. So, like I said, in the raw, there's no PowerPoint slides. There's no, you know, going in here and, you know, I have a uh, stuff does go wrong and I had to troubleshoot it. So that's pretty much what I would like to know. So, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, beyond that, um, what my goal is for that is um, for all the different protocols that both iOS, iOS XE, and iOS XR support, I want to be uh, nailing those guys. So um, the way that it sits right now is there's not a whole lot for RIP to do. I mean, RIP is pretty simple. Um, it is supported on both, on all three uh, iOS uh, operating systems. RPL is a relatively new concept uh, for me. Um, it is used heavily in iOS XR um, where it um, you've probably have heard of a route map in iOS, which is basically a sequence number style of filtering mechanism that you can call uh, access lists and prefix lists and things from to do different things with. Um, it gets the job done, but there are some limitations to it. Where the RPL is more of a programming language, where it's if then else, and you can go in there and you know break it down. I'm still going through how to how to work with the RPL, so I'm still learning that process. But um, my goal here is to do, obviously for RIP, there's only going to be a handful of videos, maybe three or four tops. It won't be, there's not much for RIP, honestly. Even it, it might not even be that many. It might be just like one or two. Because um, RIP is easy to get working. Um, obviously, I would like to, do, uh, like to do EIGRP, you know, a handful of videos there. And obviously, this won't be a technical deep dive into each protocol. It would be more or less, how do you configure the most common things in uh, for each protocol in each operating system. So for instance, uh, we would say, for instance, here between router one and XR one, we would go through and configure, you know, uh, EIGRP here and well, on, on this connection right here, we would configure EIGRP here. And then once we had that in place, but then we could go here and set up like OSPF on these links here. And then we could do ISIS here, something like that. Not not a hard and fast plan, but and then we could work on redistribution, you know, and do two way. So we could do both redistribution this way and this way, and you know, likewise this way, and on every router. So we could do redistribution, see exactly how that would work. Uh, any of the caveats would show up, things like that. And then uh, my goal is to go through all the IGPs and not to any like super crazy depth. Like this is not a CCA. Um, route switch level of detail, but it would still be like, I would definitely say CCMP level of detail. Um, and because obviously RIP and EIGRP are outside of the scope for service provider, but uh, they are still pretty prevalently seen inside of the, um, the enterprise. And I do have one customer that uses an ASR 9000. It's a 9006 as a matter of fact. And he also has a CRS, CRS1. I think it is, or CRS3. I can't remember off the top of my head. I know it's a CRS. But um, 
he's uh, forwarding that, um, he's doing his internet edge on there. And if, uh, when I first got introduced to his environment, I was like, wow, you're running iOS XR. And he, he's like, well, nobody ever calls it that. You know, it's, a, it's an ASR 9K. I'm like, yeah, but it runs iOS XR. You know, I got immediately geeked out, you know, because I had never seen one in production, never worked on anything in production. It's always been in a lab environment for that. So for that purpose, I was like, all right, let's just roll with this. So um, that's more or less the reason behind it is so you could see how to how to work with things inside of RIP, EIGRP, OSPF, ISIS. And then my goal here is to uh, work with BGP. So we have a couple of routers up here that I want to get over BGP and a router down here. So this entire section that I'm scrolling back and forth on would be how we would go about setting up um, the BGP where we have a couple of remote autonomous system numbers. We would split these guys up to a bunch of different ASs. And then from there we would go in and so let's say this would be AS11, AS22, AS33, uh, AS4, AS6, you know, stuff like that. So we can see a, B, uh, a relatively... Um, it's a small topology for BGP, but it would still be a, um, it would allow us to cover a lot of the BGP topics and stuff like that. So give us uh, that flexibility and see exactly how that would work. And then once we're done with that, um, then we would get into things like LDP and how LDP would work. And um, and then we would get into uh, LD, traffic engineering, session protection, all the MPLS specific things and the traffic engineering and stuff like that. And then from there, I would take off into MPLS. You know, we would cover the MPLS topics, like for instance, the, the VPN capabilities, layer three VPN, layer two VPN. And it's actually, if I expand this out, this is the total topology. So it is pretty in depth. And so my goal here is, as we go through and move forward, that uh, I'm still not sure exactly how I would play this off, but carry, uh, there's, when you're de uh, dealing with, um, this could be just one big carrier, and we have a couple of edge devices just to, to see exactly how that would work. And we could just one big carrier and have multiple uh, multiple sites, multiple customers. So we could say that the, um, let's say for instance that the, uh, you know, C4 and C5 are one customer, and then you have all the regular iOS routers, all these guys down here. All these guys would be, um, and this guy and this guy, maybe uh, maybe R5 is the head end to you know the uh, the C5 and C4 connections, and you could see exactly how that would work for what I would consider to be a pretty large MPLS uh, L3 BPN, so a single autonomous system, so where we wouldn't be doing inter any inter AS BPN, and then. We would move into doing, you know, things like the inter AS VPN. We would do uh, focus on the main goal is to focus on inter AS, uh, sorry, intra AS, which means that the uh, it's one MPLS VPN provider. So this this big this guy here in the middle here would be one big BGP or I'm sorry MPLS VPN core cloud whatever. And then what we would do from there is. We would configure layer 3 VPN, layer 2 VPN, all of its variants and stuff like that. Then we would get into the L2 uh, inter AS VPN, so you know option A, B, and C. And then we would focus on layer 3 and then layer 2. And then we would do work on things like carrier supporting carrier to where I think what I'm going to do is I haven't decided yet, but I think um, the way that I think I'm going to go with this, I'm actually going to uh, think I'm going to steal what um, Brian McGann from INE did in his uh, SPB4 setup is he used something like this where you'd have um, this guy right here was the carrier supporting carrier CE and then you'd have something set up like where this guy right here would be the uh, the primary backbone so this would be the say the tier 2 ISP, this guy would be the tier 1 ISP providing the internet backbone reachability these guys appear to him and then so this this connection right here is the CSC CE to PE same thing down here and this guy down over on this side would be the CSC CE and because of the fact that it connects to the customer and then it would be handed off from there and you know go about it its day and then we would have one just you know configure it to where it's just like one big 
um, you know, single customer and, you know, go from there so that we would have reachability. And obviously this would be like a CE, a uh, PE to CE setup here, a PE to CE setup here, and but likewise for that. So not not uh, steadfast in how we're going to be going forward with that. It's not a, uh, a dedicated way, but something similar to that. So that's kind of the idea that I'm looking for that. And then as we go through that, we get into all the layer 2 VPN stuff with like Ethernet over MPLS, uh, VPLS, um, hierarchical via VPLS, um, what else is out there? L2 TPV3, um, all the different, when you break it down, it's all of the carrier Ethernet capabilities that are supported on iOS and XR. We need definitely need to go through those. So that's kind of the plan. And then obviously, once we have reachability in place and we have the VPN part out, out of the way, then it's going to be like multicast and quality of service and stuff like that. It's kind of how I'm planning on doing this. I don't have a clue as to how many videos that might be or how long it'll take me to produce, um, but I definitely want to do something similar to that, to where it's a um, like what I did with the routing and switching for the CCIE stuff, because I don't know, I haven't asked, um, but when I um, uh, got pulled into IE's All Access Library, they already had a full blown service or. or uh, CCIE um, setup, you know, that's how I learned it. So basically, it was just a lot of stuff I just took what um, INE had done and I just recreated it and so that I could guarantee that um, my understanding was uh, on par with what was needed. And uh, so that's kind of the idea here is go through and make sure that I understand the stuff as well as I need to. And I don't know if INE would want a, another CCIE level uh, um, resource inside a service provider? I honestly don't know. But uh, this is not really geared towards CCIE service provider, just the service provider technologies in general. So I'm going to be taking topics from the blueprint for the CCIE SPV4 exam for the written and for the lab and be going through them and that's kind of the purpose. So there will be a playlist uh, listed as service provider technologies and then we'll go through and you'll see you know, uh, you know, rip on, you know, rip, rip authentication and, you know, whatever uh, on iOS and iOS XR. And then we'll go into the other protocols. For instance, we'll say we're going to do, you know, OSPF and EIGRP and ISIS. And then we're going to get into MPLS and seeing exactly how to implement it on both. The idea here is to do it on both platforms so that we're well versed in both situations. And that's kind of the idea here so that everybody can see exactly what I'm talking about, how it goes about doing it. So that's really how I plan on um, approaching this particular setup. And, you know, at worst case scenario, I will record them in a similar fashion to the way that I, I do everything for INE. &E. Um, so it'll be um, all the videos, if they do decide that they want them, um, you know, I've, I'm probably two or three video series out for, uh, on content that I need to record for them before I'd even be ready to do a, a video series like that for them. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to start recording stuff and putting it out there. Uh, it will take some time for that material to get out. It's going to be in stages like the um, anything that I do for like CCMP or CCIE, uh, stuff like that. And I will be starting from like ground level and working my way up. So again, it's not. Um, it won't be CCIE level out of the gate because of the fact that there's going to be a lot of things that, you know, you may not know what carrier supporting carriers. So there's going to be a lot of, you know, bringing up to speed on how stuff works and, you know, the different protocols and how operations work and things like that. Because that's really what it comes down to at the end of the day is, do you understand what it takes to get XYZ to work? You know, and um, so I like to do my training from, you know, nothing until you're an expert at the end of the series. So it's kind of like a zero to hero um, uh, that I know Narvik and Terry Vincent are doing over at uh, Micronics, where they're doing zero to hero for, I think, data center and security here starting up soon. Something along those lines. So let me know what you think. You guys have been awesome. I would like to uh, want to make sure that I put that out there. You guys have been huge. Um, it's been, the, the channel has been blowing up lately. Um, keep uh, posting comments, subscribe, uh, share, do whatever you need to. Just keep, keep driving this channel. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for everything. Till next time.